It wasn't until the dawn of our new, better age, when we finally became a truly tolerant and responsible society. Our police are now busy enforcing compelled speech. What the hell? Shut up! Our schools reward children for their forward-thinking initiatives and reports on intolerant parents. And at long last, we have abolished all whitewashed history, literature, and science. Hurry up, guys! We have the Tolerance Commissioner coming in tomorrow. We don't want to disappoint the Commissioner, do we? We backed our schools with leadership and guidance, truly caring and empathetic. It's ridiculous. I was trying to teach the kids advanced calculus. I didn't mean to hurt anyone's feelings. But you were teaching a discriminant, for goodness sake. A discriminant! Yeah, but this is a polynomial function of the coefficient. Enough! The Tolerance Commission will be here tomorrow because of you! So this time you better not screw it up! Our leadership stands on guard of proper education in accordance with core values of tolerance and social responsibility. Go ahead. Each magnet has two poles, so-called the North Pole and the South Pole. They are so similar, yet so different, just like boys and girls. Opposite poles create a very strong union. But when you put the similar poles together, they repel. See, they don't want to be together. Why don't similar poles want to be together? These are just magnets. Give it to me. So according to you, opposite genders can create a strong union, but similar ones can't? No. I didn't say that. Yes, you did. Disgusting. You're teaching children intolerance towards same-sex unions. Listen, this is a law of nature. You cannot fight the nature itself. Oh, yeah? So you're suggesting that same-sex marriages are against nature? No, I didn't say that. Yes, you did. At last, we are now ready to amend the basic laws of physics. So the world is faced with a more just and brighter future. Oh, it's so beautiful.